I'ma crush it. We're back. This is episode two for the week. This is Unsung. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. We put a call a few weeks ago for compelling nonprofit stories, and the nonprofits answered. So, we have packed our last few episodes of the season with awesome stories, and we now have packed this week with two episodes. We have a lot of energy here at Unsung. It may be chilly, but the team headed outside for this episode. We joined some tireless volunteers, plus an unsung favorite, North Hills Community Outreach checked in with a workable story. But first, let's head on out to the Botanical Garden. I am Kitty Vagley. I am with the Pittsburgh Botanic Garden. I'm the Director of Development. And the Pittsburgh Botanic Garden is transforming 460 acres of abandoned coal mining land into the region's first outdoor comprehensive botanic garden. On this 460 acres, there's a large reclamation project. We are taking care of the acid mine drainage that comes out of the old mines. So we've got a very long-term project cleaning up the water, which will not only make our garden plantable, but will help clear up the Chartiers Creek watershed. On the 60 acres to the north, We've already started work on the Woodlands Garden of the World. That's the first garden in the garden, and our front door, until the reclamation work is done, is this historic homestead where we stand. This homestead dates back to the Revolutionary War, has ties to the Whiskey Rebellion, and will bring it to life with not only additional buildings, but with some animals, heritage sheep, and chickens. The other part of the first phase is the Woodland Gardens. It's an arboretum showcasing five different woodlands. Most of it is the Appalachian Plateau woodlands, which are our native woodlands. We have worked uh, for the last three years removing about 20 acres of invasive plant species and we've planted about 5,000 native trees, shrubs, and herbaceous perennials. We've built three miles of trails, and we have been building these nature play stations for little children. So we have a meadow maze, we have a storybook house, we have lots of interesting, fun things to come and see and do. We have had outreach to at-risk kids, we have adult education, so we try to cover all bases with our education. We have transformed some of our trails to ADA accessible trails. We want this garden to welcome everybody. We brought some small children in this summer and they were very uncomfortable being in this kind of environment. It's sort of wild for children who are mostly used to urban spaces. And this one little girl in particular was so unhappy that she was crying and asking to go home. We went to the Dogwood Meadow and the butterfly lady was there talking about butterflies. And some of the children said to me, how do we hold butterflies? And I said, well, maybe you could stand very still and put your hands out like this and maybe butterflies will come land on it. No sooner had I said that than a little white cabbage butterfly did land on my thumb. And for the next five or six minutes, it landed on nine or 10 of these upturned tiny hands. So this little girl sort of overcame her fear. You know, she said, does it hurt? Does it tickle? She didn't like hurt, she didn't like tickle. But she was seeing this butterfly land on all her colleagues' hands, and so she wanted that same experience. And um, so she put her hands out, but because she was so nervous, she kept jerking them away as soon as the butterfly came close. So the butterfly did not land on her hand. However, we left the meadow, went back into the woodlands for the third lesson, which was on bugs and dirt, and that child sat on the ground next to me. The Pittsburgh Botanic Garden is a, an enormous grassroots project. We depend largely on volunteers, just regular people contributing to make this happen. Our volunteers have done the majority of the work. It's hands-on learning, and Pittsburgh is the only city its size in the country without a large outdoor botanic garden. So the, our Pittsburgh Botanic Garden will fill that gap, will also be a big recreational asset, an ecotourism asset, an educational asset, and just, just a gem of a conservation piece. In addition, 
the reclamation work that we're doing uh, makes us the only botanic garden in the United States built on reclaimed coal mining land. And hopefully others can learn from our trial and error and transform some other um, mining land into something beautiful and green. From the very beginning, we had a master plan done in the early uh, 2001-2002 by a local firm with, uh, that's nationally recognized, Marshall Tyler Rausch. We're still working with them. And the fundraising, again, has been grassroots. We've had some foundation and corporate support, but uh, for the most part, it's just far-seeing individuals who want to see Pittsburgh have this regional gem. We ask that people who are interested in learning more about the garden visit our website, which is www.pittsburghbotanicgarden.org. They can see where our, when our peak and preview tours are. They can sign up for different volunteer um, tasks and they can donate, of course. We also have memberships. We plan to be open next summer, and if you are a member, you will have free admission to the garden. So we want you to become members. Workable is a United Way-funded partnership between North Hills Community Outreach, South Hills Interfaith Ministries, and Jewish Family and Children's Services. It offers free career counseling and services to unemployed and underemployed people all over Allegheny County. They offer one-on-one -on -one counseling with career coaches and volunteer career coaches, workshops in several areas such as resume writing, interview skills, career fairs, computer lab usage, and so much more. So far, about 500 clients have been served through the program, and already 350 have graduated with 330 receiving jobs. Volunteers are dedicated to helping clients improve their job search skills, and they provide emotional support during this stressful time. The volunteer coaches come from all walks of life. Many are HR professionals or retired HR professionals, but many are from other professions who just want to see people make a better life for their families. If you're interested in volunteering or know someone that would benefit from the program, more information can be found at workableac.com. Unsung brave the weather, steep paths, and various other obstacles, but we can't even hold a flame to the dedicated volunteers that are cleaning up Pittsburgh. We salute these unsung heroes and urge you to join them. Well, Allegheny Cleanways is a 501c3 nonprofit, so we're an environmental nonprofit, and our mission is to engage and empower um, local communities to eliminate illegal dumping and littering in their communities and their neighborhoods. And so we do that through a variety of programs. We have our Dump Busters program, which we're doing right now. Um, it's a daily program that goes out with volunteers and cleans up illegal dump sites across the county. Today we're at Edgebrook. We are cleaning up hundreds of tires, slowly moving them up the um, hillside until they're gone. We'll be here all winter long until it's done. Um, we estimate there's about a thousand tires, but we'll find out for sure when we're complete. We work five or six days a week, 12 months a year and our aim is to clean up the toughest illegal dump sites in Allegheny County. We also have our tireless program which cleans up the riverbanks and we go collect tires, trash, anything there on our, with our boat, help of our boat and then we have other group events that clean up illegal dump sites and other sites across the county. And what they should expect is very hard work that's very satisfying but it's also a lot of fun. I, I tell all the prospective volunteers that if you don't enjoy doing this, you're not going to do it. You're not going to stick with it. You have to find something that's intrinsically satisfying about doing it. Well, we had some jobs maybe in the Hill District where uh, hypodermic needles and, and uh, used prophylactics were lying around, so you know, it got kind of messy, but uh, that was probably the worst job. None of us are big fans of litter pickup, but we do it anyway. They're all good, but the best projects is when we're actually in the community and the people who live there come out, ask what we're doing, thank us, maybe give us a donut or a cup of coffee, and their appreciation is the drive that keeps us going. It was a job on Mount Washington where we cleaned a very large area by hand. Again, there was no vehicle access. Thousands of pounds of material had to be hand-walked 
a very long way out of the woods, you know, thousands of feet. And that was in preparation for an expansion of the park and trails in Mount Washington. They can get involved either by going to our website at www.alleghenycleanways.com or .org and they can also call us. Our number is 412-381-1301 um, or talk to any of us whenever they see us around, the dump busters or tiles programs. We do a lot of outreach events at, um, and table at different events. We have a green, out, green Invasion Festival that we work at and um, GASP and other places. You might have recognized story tags and Twitter handles during our stories. We invite you to continue the conversation by tagging the nonprofit or using the story tag on Twitter. You can also get in touch with us on Twitter at PGH on video or hashtag unsung PGH. Check out previous episodes and our unsung uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org as well as video and audio versions on iTunes and YouTube. As always, thank you for watching Unsung, and please be sure to share it with your friends. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. So I said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace.